Today's lesson um, deals with something called the electromagnetic spectrum. Uh, the electromagnetic spectrum is just a big name for all the energy that comes from the sun. Uh, when we think about the sun, uh, you ask yourself these two questions. And I'm going to ask you to, when I'm done reading these two, or you read these two questions, uh, stop the video, pause it, I mean, and really think about and write down your answers to these questions in your notes. Uh, what do you already know about the sun? What are some of the things that you do know about the sun? And how is it important to your life? What, how does it affect your life? And you'll be surprised by how it affects your life. It's more than just it keeps you warm. Uh, so pause the video. Uh, this one of my favorite pictures of the sun. Um, this huge thing here is probably about this prominence. It's probably 100 maybe a hundred times the size of it, maybe more. Uh, so uh, that's it's huge. So pause the video, answer these questions. Now, a couple of things that we did you know, that some of the facts about the sun. The surface really is only about 10,000 degrees. And now I say only, I mean, that's really hot, but. Um, the surface of the sun is 10,000 degrees. So if you think about our thermosphere being about 3,600 degrees, it's not much. You know, it's three times as much, but uh, you think of the sun, it would be just scorching hot. Um, the atmosphere, the sun does have an atmosphere. That can reach about 5,000 degrees. Uh, it's where the core is. It's where all of the, the, um, the action's happening in the sun. That's 27 million degrees. Now, a couple things about the sun, sunlight, uh, the energy from the sun um, travels in waves, uh, kind of like the way, well, like the waves in the ocean, uh, a lot of the similar uh, vocabulary we're going to be using there, but uh, they travel at the speed of light. Well, the speed of light is about 186,000 miles per second, so 1,001, light traveled 186,000 miles. Uh, it's comparing that to... Um, a car that when you drive down the road at 62 miles per hour, uh, it's moving really fast. As a matter of fact, it's moving so fast that it only takes eight minutes for that light to travel uh, the 93 million miles from the sun to the earth. Uh, eight minutes. Uh, that's fast. Now, the thing that blows my mind is that right now, yeah, if it was if it's sunny out, um, that the sun could burn out and we wouldn't know about it for eight minutes because the light would still be traveling here after it's burned out. Um, so that's a that's fast. That's how fast that sunlight moves. Um, all the energy from the sun travels in long wavelengths, uh, which is low energy. It's like uh, if you think about jumping rope, if you got a really long rope and two people swinging it, they're big, loopy waves. Um, and there's not a lot of energy there. It's just boom, 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 boom. Uh, but if you get uh, uh, energy from the sun that comes in short wavelengths, uh, that's a fast moving jump rope. That's that speed jumper uh, of a jump rope. Lots of energy goes in there, that jump rope is zipping by. And that's how the energies from the sun come. Uh, they can come in very, sh very long wavelengths with very low energy and very short wavelengths with super high energy. Uh, all that energy coming from the sun is called the electromagnetic spectrum. Um, and it shows, uh, this spectrum uh, shows all the different types of radiation from the sun. And over the next couple, um, or the next slide here, uh, we're going to be seeing uh, a lot of this. It's going to be a lot of note taking, probably a a lot of pausing and, and writing things down. But we've seen this before. This is a wavelength from the, the beginning of one wave to the end of that wave is one wavelength. The crest is the top of the wave. The trough is the bottom of the wave. Uh, since this is a long wave, it has low energy. L for long, low, L for low. Um, that's low energy waves. Uh, if you have a sh super short wavelength, start to end, and you have the crest and the trough. Uh, here you have it's short wavelength wise, but it has super energy. Short starts with S, super starts with S. 
Now I'm going to show you this animation here, or this uh, uh, spectrum. Um, we'll start with the short, or excuse me, the long, low energy wavelengths. And the sun actually, um, let me move this up a little bit, uh, sends out radio waves. Um, this energy from the, the sun, we've been able to um, use radio waves in communications and, and TV and cell phones. Um, we study other stars and planets using radio waves. Notice they're very long, they have not a lot of energy. Now, as we move to the next one, microwaves. Microwaves energy is used and seen through clouds. Um, you are going to need to know all of these different waves of energy and what they do. Uh, we see through clouds with microwaves. Sometimes it's hard. Uh, we can see how much pollution is in the air. Uh, these are long waves, so they have less energy, so we can actually cook our foods with it because uh, it has energy, but it's not dangerous energy. Uh, as we get moving farther on, we have infrared. Uh, this lets us, this is heat energy. Uh, this one allows us to see things that are giving off heat, heat from an oven, heat from the hot pavement, uh, from the fireplace. Satellites can use uh, uh, infrared to measure areas on the surface of the earth that's, that are uh, warm. Um, some, some animals use infrared waves to uh, help them with their hunting. Uh, now we're getting into a little bit more energy. Uh, this is the only part that we see, the visible light. Uh, visible light, this is our uh, Roy G. Biv, the red, orange, yellow, green, uh, blue, indigo, and violet, uh, the rainbow. Uh, this is the stuff that we see. The thing about uh, our visible light is that um, visible light comes and we receive it in our eyeball, but um, the thing that's really kind of odd, you know, up here it says the reason a leaf appears green is because all the other colors of the rainbow except green are absorbed by the leaf. Uh, so uh, the leaf is reflecting the green, but absorbing every other color. Just like a red shirt, everything would be absorbing, all those Roy G. Biv colors would be absorbing into it, but the red would be reflecting off. Um, so uh, this visible light spectrum, uh, this is the stuff that we can see. The other ones we can't see. Um, this is not dangerous to us at all. It's the next set of three that are dangerous to us because they do have uh, higher energies. You notice the wavelengths are getting shorter and shorter. Ultraviolet, um, UV rays, ultraviolet radiation, uh, most of it doesn't get through the atmosphere, um, but uh, these are the things that cause uh, sunburns. Uh, these are the parts that most of it gets blocked by the ozone layer in our stratosphere. Uh, but some do get through. That's why we use sunscreen to help protect us from these waves. Now, X-rays, uh, these are a these are even more energy. Um, if you've ever had a broken bone, if you've ever gone to the dentist, they do X-rays. Um, same type of energy. Uh, they aren't dangerous if they're done once in a while. You know, but notice what happens with the person that does give you the X-ray. If you ever had an X-ray, uh, what do they do? They tell you, they go in, they say, okay, sit still, don't move, and then they leave the room and they go behind a wall. Uh, they make you wear a lead apron a lot of times to protect you from some of the rays. Um, so lots of x-rays, not a great thing. Once in a while, the, that would be fine. Uh, and then this one with x-rays, uh, they allow us to see certain things in space, uh, comets, black holes, um, the sun, they all give off x-rays uh, and we're able to um, see those. But we can't see them from the earth because our atmosphere blocks all those x-rays. Uh, we have to actually put satellites outside Earth's atmosphere uh, to measure these x-rays, to find these x-rays. And I'll show you uh, a really cool uh, uh, website uh, that deals with just the sun's energy uh, in class, but it's uh, 
the soho.com um, and uh, it talks about all about the sun's energy and the weather it's you could get stuck in there for for days on that website and then we get to the worst type of energy for us gamma rays this is the highest type this radiation uh, can kill bacteria it's used to create uh, treat cancer it's a very powerful form of energy so this one we really need to be careful with um, we don't like to be exposed to gamma rays and thankfully our atmosphere does a great job of collecting most of these things but sometimes the sun does burst huge amounts of gamma rays towards us um, and our atmosphere blocks most of it but um, sometimes uh, we do get larger amounts of those so um, that's our electromagnetic spectrum right there starting with the least which was radio uh, microwaves a little bit more infrared a little bit more the visible light that we can see a little bit more here we get into the dangerous areas the UV the x-rays and the gamma rays those guys are pretty dangerous um, I'm also going to put a video up on my my, my teacher site uh, a song I want you to listen to that too because that one <laughs> It's it's a goofy way to remember it. Uh, the guy who sings it is fantastic, but uh, you will remember it. Now here's a, uh, a th electromagnetic spectrum tool to kind of just show you what happens to all of these um, uh, rays as they come in. Whoops, I clicked on the wrong one. Let's go down here. That's the one. So but this is what happens when the energy comes in. Energy comes in from the sun. Some of it's reflected off by the atmosphere. Some of it is absorbed into the atmosphere. Some is reflected off the clouds. Some is reflected off the ocean. Some is absorbed by the cloud. Some is absorbed by the ocean. Now, some of it gets carried from the Earth's surface back up into the clouds, back up into... Uh, the atmosphere or back up into space. So some of the energy comes in, gets all the way in, and then comes out. Some doesn't even get in. Some gets in, but then gets trapped and then bounces back and forth. So uh, this energy from the sun uh, does a lot for us. And I think that's it. Um, you know, the question here asks, what happens when the sun's rays come into the earth that's what happens they either bounce off the clouds they uh, bounce off the atmosphere or they absorb into the land or into the water uh, and that gives us our temperatures so yeah next time we'll get into something called albedo and the greenhouse effect but um, make sure you watch this video and uh, take some notes along the way because you're going to need to know everything about the electromagnetic spectrum and you are going to need to know um, some characteristics of each one of the parts of the electromagnetic spectrum and watch the video it does help a lot